This is the most expensive biryani in the world. Dubai loves its biryani. And over the past few years, there have been so many biryani joints popping up all over town. There are biryanis for 10 grams, 20 grams, 200 grams. Which biryani is the best? Excellent question. We'll tell you about it in another episode. Today, we're trying one that's 1,000 grams. And that's the most expensive in the world. Why is it so expensive? It's not like it's made of gold. Uh, kinda. It's, it's kinda that. But it's not just that. The rice itself weighs three kilos and you've got three different kinds here. You have biryani rice, keema rice and white rice with saffron rice on top of it. Over here you've got potatoes, baby potatoes and boiled eggs. Let's talk about the grills. Three different kinds of chicken grills here. You've got the malai chicken and rajputana murksula, which is a little bit spicy. Chicken meatballs. More meat, you've got lamb chops and lamb sheet kebab. A huge lamb sheet kebab, and two of them. And as if that wasn't delicious enough, it's garnished with mint leaves, cashew nuts, pomegranates, fried onions, and just some yum 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 yum. And it takes 45 minutes to put everything together. And then some gold on top of all of that because Dubai. On the side you get three different sauces and a raita. Okay, so you have Nihari Salan, Jodhpuri Salan, Badami sauce topped with almonds and pistachios, and pomegranate raita. How do you eat this thing? Again, do I peel off the gold like kind of... Now I'm a biryani guy. I first came to Dubai in 1999 and the first meal I ever had was a biryani from Karachi Darbar. That's a true story. I'm on a mission to find the best biryanis in the world. And I've tried it in many different places. I had it in Spain, Thailand, Los Angeles. I was in London on a 10 hour layover and I tried biryani. I've even had biryani at the Burj Al Arab. At the time they didn't have it on their menu but when you stay at the Burj, you kind of get whatever you ask for. And the biryani was pretty good. So, question on everyone's mind, what's this biryani taste like? So let's dig in. I want to start with the gold. It's so delicate, this gold. Tell my mom I made it, eating gold. It doesn't taste like anything. The lamb chops have overpowered the gold flavor. Yeah, this is not touching anything. One more time, one more time. Try, gold. It doesn't taste like anything. Gold. I think it's just the novelty experience of having gold on top of something. Which is, uh, to be fair, pretty cool experience. How often can you say you had gold biryani, gold sheet kebab, gold lamb chops? This is the keema rice. Let's try that. Delicious. So flavorful. There are a thousand different ways to cook and flavor your biryani. But its origins can be traced back all the way to Persia. Even the word biryani comes from the Persian birinj biryan, which literally means fried rice. Okay, fun fact or an urban legend, but an interesting origin story goes all the way back to the Mughal era, to Shah Jahan and his wife. They say that Mumtaz was visiting her army barracks and when she met a soldier, she felt like they were undernourished. So she gave the chef a special recipe and apparently it was biryani. Let's get into the meat of it, man. So it's got some gold on it. Mm, stunning. So good. And the Malai. Amazing. Okay, moment of truth. Lamb chops. This is a nice place, so I probably shouldn't just grab and eat it, but... How do you normally eat a biryani in your hands, right? <laughs> it's really good, man. Rating so far, this one, about uh, 8.5 out of 10 in terms of flavor. It is it is exquisite. So tasty. If you like the video and you want to see more cool stuff like this, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you do come here, Try their chai, they make it fresh for every order. And it's really, really hot. <laughs>